Today's paper is DSSD, Deconvolutional Single Shot Detector. The paper introduces a model that uses additional context to existing object detection model. The model used in the paper uses a backbone of ResNet 101 with fast object detection framework called SSD, also known as Single Shot Detector. To this module with um, SSD with ResNet 101 backbone, a deconvolutional layers are added to provide larger context information. Um, adopting this module to the existing detector increases the performance of the model on small objects. The DSSD model achieves mean average precision score of 81.5 on Pascal VOC 2007 dataset, 80% on VOC 2012, and 33.2 on COCO dataset. Now, this figure on the slide shows the architecture of DSSD network. Um, the architecture on the top shows the original SSD network with VGG backbone. An input image is first fed into the network. Um, it then goes through layers of convolutional layers and to the SSD layers in blue. Uh, we see in blue arrows that each feature in different layers uh, is used to produce detection outputs. Um, think of the blue ar arrows in SSD architecture Think of this as a small convolutional um, layers to extract, used to extract bounding box and class information in spatial regions. Now, looking at the SSD model on the bottom, um, changes made after the SSD layers. Um, instead of directly using SSD features in blue, uh, it adds layers of deconvolution layers to the SSD layers. Um, this is shown as uh, the red layers here. Um, looking at the SSD layers in blue and the SSD layers in red, it's like an hourglass network. Um, the first SSD layer, we can see that it's produced by, I mean, the first DSSD layer is produced by um, uh, applying deconvolution module to the last SSD layer, the smallest SSD layer right here. Uh, since the spatial size of the new layer is double the size of the previous layer. Um, this uh, new layer in red can now be combined with the previous SSD feature map in here. So the authors state that the best performance is achieved when using um, element-wise product to combine these two features. Um, so we have a new feature right here. And once a new DSSD layer is obtained, the same process can be made with the new feature. And it results to uh, creating a group of DSSD layers right here. In the figure, we see that there are uh, five feature maps, new feature maps that we can use to uh, produce bounding box and class information. And now to each extracted DSSD layer, a prediction module is applied to produce a bounding box and class output of an object. We can see in the figure right here. Um, the authors proposed four variants of the prediction module, and this is shown in this slide right here. The most simple architecture is shown in the leftmost figure A. However, the authors state that adding few layers of convolutions and a skip connection uh, performs better. In the ablation study, the best score was achieved when using the C module, which is the third one right here. It's composed of three layers of uh, one by one convolution. Uh, the channel size, the channel dimension is increased from um, 256 to 1024. And to the last feature, there's a, a skip connection using also a one by one convolution. And when they combine this um, feature right here, uh, ELTW means that it's a element-wise sum. And 
after this feature, it produces a class of an object and uh, the bounding box. Now, this table in this slide shows the performance of the SSD model on Pascal VOC and Coco dataset. The top figure shows the performance on Pascal VOC 2012 dataset. It achieves 80 point uh, it achieves 80% mean average precision score when using a model with ResNet 101 backbone. It's the highest uh, score. Um, when compared to the SSD model with ResNet 101, the score is only um, a bit higher. The difference isn't that big, 79.4 to 80%. However, if this DSSD model with one ResNet 101 is compared to the original SSD architecture that uses a VGG, VGG backbone, the gap is much higher. Now, on the bottom is the performance of the model on Coco dataset. The mean average precision score is um, 33.2, denoted here. Um, the difference isn't big here also if we compare it with the SSD model with ResNet 101 backbone. But the gap is much higher if compared to the model, if compared to the SSD model that uses a VGG backbone. The model that uses SSD model with VGG backbone, uh, the score is 28.8. But if we use, if a model uses DSSD with ResNet 101, the score goes up till 33.2. Th um, so it's much higher. Now, lastly, here are some examples showing the comparison between SSD and DSSD models. Um, on the left, I'm assuming that it shows uh, the pair of images, and on the left, I think this is showing the result from SSD. And we, s we can see that it fails to detect some of the object instances, which are really small. However, on the right is the result of the DSSD, and we can see that the detection performance is much better than that of the SSD model. A link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.